going to be um, doing intermuscular kicks, intermuscular injections. Um, the first thing you want to do is compare healthcare provider's order with the MAR. You want to identify your patient, perform your hand hygiene, put on gloves, and perform your assessment. Um, then you will compare your pool medication with the MAR and check the expiration date. And then you will want to cleanse your your vial with alcohol swab and you will want to draw up the first you want to inject the amount of air into here that you're going to um draw out you inject your air in then turn it upside down pull back your medicine you would um one scoop your cap back on here and ensure there's no air bubbles in your medicine. You'll get your air bubbles out. Discard this needle and put a new one on. <clears throat> um, once you withdraw the needle and safely cap it and you change the needles, you want to label the syringe if you're outside of the patient's room. But once you go into the room, you want to perform um, your third check at the bedside. You want to explain to your patients and you want to identify the sites. Okay, the first site I'm going to show you is the deltoid muscle. And in order to give in your deltoid, you want to um, verify your acromion process. And you will want to give like three fingers down right up in here in the center. And then for your vastus laterals, you would put your leg up. For your vestus laterals, you will um, pretty much divide this part of the leg in half and give in the outer and the lower third part of the leg. Right up in here. And then for the ventral gluteal, you will want to identify, put your arm down, identify the um, anterior. iliac crest here this bone and you also want to verify the greater trochanter and you want to point your thumb towards the groin and your index finger on that bone here and you will spread these three fingers as far as you can go and you will give the injection here okay so and then for, okay, so for the, the z track method, I'm going to do the deltoid muscle. I'm going to clean the area, clean the area with the alcohol swab. And your patients can be sitting up, but I just had mine laying down for the purpose of to show you the sites. But you want to clean this small to large circles and allow it to air dry. And then... You also perform your hand hygiene and put on your clean gloves beforehand. Okay, and to utilize the z track method, what you want to do is you want to pull the skin over a little. And once you've cleaned it, you're going to get your, um, <coughs> you're going to remove your cap and you want to go in a dark motion. You're going to stick, hold steady with that hand, aspirate to make sure there's no blood, and then you will slowly um, administer medication, 1 ml for 10 seconds. And once you inject all the medication, you want to leave it there for about 10 seconds. And you will remove it the same way you went in, and you will remove the skin. And then you will discard this in the biohazard sharps container.